This is the fifth video in the scripting series, and today we are covering conditional statements. Our goal today is to set a secret combination for the safe so that when we click the button on the front and the combination is correct, the safe will open, and if it's incorrect, the color of this button will turn red. Right now, the combination can be adjusted by clicking these buttons, and the current combination to open it is one, two, and then three. So if we click the button, the safe will open. But we're also going to set a combination that will cause the safe to explode. And this will prevent people from trying to guess a combination to get into our safe. We can only do this with the power of conditional statements. Conditional statements are sections of code that execute under certain conditions. This is the structure of a conditional statement in Lua. The statement starts with an if keyword, followed by a condition, followed by the then keyword. Then we have the code that we want to execute if this condition is true. Because five is less than 10, this code is executed. Then we have the end keyword. This is to tell the computer that we have reached the end of the conditional statement. It's important to note that the five is less than 10 right here. The condition is always a Boolean. So this should always result in true or false. If you saw my last video on operators, then that gives you a good insight into what you can do here. So in addition to just having five is less than 10, you could use the and, or, and not keywords to add additional conditions. So you could do five is less than 10 and false, and this would never execute. If you did and true, then this would always execute. So you could have another condition here. You know, you could also have five is also less than six, and then this would execute as well. There's also an else and an else if keyword, and we'll cover those when we get into the example with the safe. We're not gonna script everything to create this safe. We're just gonna script the part that will check to see if the combination is correct. In order to make this a little bit easier, I wrote some functions already, and don't worry, these won't prevent you from learning how to use conditional statements. First, we have open and closed door. These just open and close the safe door. Then we have change button color. This will change the color of the button used to open the safe from gray to red and then back. And then we have the explode function. This will just make the safe explode. In order to let us click the button on the front of the safe, I have a click detector inside of that button. Don't worry, you don't need to know exactly how this works, but we're connecting to the mouse click event within the click detector and we're connecting a function to it right here. So all you really need to know is that this function runs every time we click the button on the front. So all of this code right here executes every time we click the button. And if you've seen my video on functions, you know that this is actually an anonymous function. So since this function executes every time we click the button, what do we want to do? So every time we click the button right here, we want to see if these numbers are the correct combination. So going back here, I have a secret combination. I've set it to one, two, three, and then I have num one, num two, and num three. So num one is the first number, num two is the second, and num three is the last one. Then I'm concatenating the numbers together. Uh, so if you've seen my video on operators, you know that these just combine the strings. So if this was one, this was two, and then this was three, doing num one, period, period, num two, dot, dot, num three, would end up in one, two, three. So every time we click the button, we want to check to see if this current combination is equal to the secret combination. So we'll do that with an if statement. So we'll type if current combo equal equal secret combo, then, and it automatically adds the end for us. So right here we have our conditional statement. So if the current combination, you know, this right here is equal to our secret combo, which we set to one, two, three, then we want to execute the code right here. So we'll just open the door with our function. Then we're gonna wait three seconds and close the door just so no one comes in behind us. And now here, if we click this button, nothing happens, but if we click one, two, and then three, the safe will open. So now that we're checking to see if the current combination is equal to the secret combination, what do we wanna do if that is not true? Well, we want to change the color of the button to red to indicate that the combination was incorrect. So we can use an else statement to do that. So basically, if this is not true, we want to do something else. Hence, we have the else keyword. And this will always execute if this is not true. So if the combination is wrong, this will execute. So we'll type change button color because all we wanna do if the combination is wrong is just change the color of the button. Obviously, the combination is incorrect because it's zero, zero, zero. Click the button and it changes to red. As I said in the beginning, we also wanna make the safe explode if it's a given combination. So I have this variable right here, explode combo. So if the safe is set to one, two, four, we wanna make it explode. 
So how do we do that? Right now we're checking to see if the combination is the secret, secret combo right here, the one, two, three. And if that's not true, we're doing this. But what if we want to check to see if it's also something else? Well, that's where the else if comes into use. So we can do else if, and we can have another condition here. So we'll type else if the current combination is equal to the explode combo, one, two, four, then we want to do something. What do we want to do if the current combo is the explode combo? We want to make the safe explode. How does all of this work? Well, the first thing that is checked is if the current combination is equal to the secret combo. So if this is true, then this code right here executes. Else, if it's not true, so if this is not true, it'll go on to this and it'll check to see if this is true. So if this is true, this will execute. Else, if this is not true, so if this is false and this is false, only then will it go on to check this or do this actually. There's nothing to check here. So if this doesn't execute and this doesn't execute, then this will execute. So it'll change the button color. So first we'll just click it and as you can see, it turned red because the combination was incorrect. We'll change the combination to one, two, I actually missed two. So I'll loop through and go to two and then three. I click it and as you can see the safe opened and now it'll close. But what if we do one, two and four, what's gonna happen? As you can see, the safe exploded. Let's recap what you've learned. We can use conditional statements to execute code under certain conditions. Here, we are using a conditional statement to open the safe door only if the combination is correct. We can have multiple conditions for these statements. If one condition isn't true, we can use an else if statement to check another condition. You can have however many else ifs as you want, but you need to have an if statement in order to have an else if. We can choose to execute code only if none of our conditions are true. If none of the conditions of the if statement or the else if statements are true, the code following an else statement will be executed. Just like the else if statement, you can only have an else if you have an if. Just like the if statement, you can only have one else statement. You can use an else statement without an else if statement and vice versa. Whenever you have an if statement, you need to have an end. The end keyword will go after the if statement, the else if statements, and the else statement if you have one. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video if you learned anything new. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for more in the future.